the Valera system. Designed for use by patients, caregivers, and healthcare providers, the Valera system provides therapy that enhances secretion removal in the treatment and prevention of pulmonary atelectasis. This video will provide an overview of the system features and instructions for use. For complete instructions, refer to the Valera system user manual. Key features of the Valera system include single patient use circuits. These are disposable but intended to be used for multiple treatment sessions. Each circuit is equipped with a smart filter to help track its usage. These circuits connect to the programmable control unit. Together, they are designed to deliver therapy in two modes. Continuous Positive Expiratory Pressure, or CPEP, supplies continuous positive pressure to help hold open and expand the airways. Continuous High Frequency Oscillation, or CHFO, a pneumatic form of chest physiotherapy that delivers medicated aerosol while oscillating the airways with continuous pulses of positive pressure. With both therapies, the Valera system can also deliver aerosolized medications and supplemental oxygen. The nebulizer kit of the Valera system patient circuit is designed to aerosolize medication approved for nebulization and prescribed by a physician. And for convenience, the Valera system can be powered by a lithium ion battery when AC power is not available. A fully charged new battery can support six sessions of a typical Valera system therapy, providing added flexibility in where therapy can be delivered. For hospital use, the Valera system comes with a stand and a carrying basket. The Valera system is intended for the mobilization of secretions, lung expansion therapy, the treatment and prevention of pulmonary atelectasis, and has the ability to provide supplemental oxygen when used with oxygen supply. The Valera system is indicated for, but is not limited to, patients with the following conditions. Difficulty in clearance of secretions, pulmonary atelectasis, Note, each patient circuit is for single patient use only. Always use a new patient circuit when using the system on a new patient. Failure to do so could cause cross-contamination. Each patient circuit is intended for 30 days of treatment or a maximum of 90 treatment sessions. If the circuit and or smart filter are damaged or visibly soiled, replace them. The system keeps a log of the number of use cycles for the patient circuit. If a patient circuit is used beyond its recommended usable life, the system notifies the user. To assemble the Valera single patient use circuit, confirm that one end of the breathing hose is attached to the small end of the smart filter. Align the larger end of the smart filter with the therapy port on the controller. Gently turn the smart filter to secure it to the therapy port. Make sure the frosted part of the smart filter covers the therapy port entirely. Connect and twist the handset into the front of the clear spontaneous breathing adapter until they lock into position. Warning! During the therapy, make sure the expiratory ports on the clear spontaneous breathing adapter are not blocked. This prevents carbon dioxide from accumulating in the system. Connect and twist the parts until they lock into position. Assemble the nebulizer kit and add the prescribed medication or saline. Connect the appropriate patient interface. When using the mouthpiece, insert and twist into the output port of the clear spontaneous breathing adapter. For face mask use, insert and gently twist the 22 by 22 millimeter adapter into the output port, then connect the other end of the adapter to the face mask. When using the flexible tracheostomy adapter, insert and gently twist the 22 by 22 millimeter adapter into the output port of the clear spontaneous breathing adapter and then connect the other end of the adapter to the flexible tracheostomy adapter. Hold one end of the breathing hose and connect it to the smaller end of the smart filter. Align the larger end of the smart filter with the therapy port on the control unit. Gently turn the smart filter to secure it to the therapy port. Connect the other end of the breathing hose to the inlet port of the patient interface. Connect the patient interface to the front of the blue ventilator adapter and twist the parts until they lock into position. Assemble the nebulizer kit and add the prescribed medication or saline. 
The white 22 by 15 mm inline ventilator adapter comes pre-assembled into the output port of the blue ventilator adapter. This is to be connected to a spring valve T adapter in the inspiratory limb of the patient's ventilator circuit. You'll need to start therapy on the control unit before making this connection to ensure there is flow to the patient. When operating the Valera system, you must first plug the power cord into an outlet on the wall unless you are utilizing the battery mode. Press and hold the power button on the front of the device for 5 seconds. If possible, have the patient sit in an upright position. Before beginning therapy, place the patient interface into position on the patient. Make sure the patient maintains a tight seal on the face mask or mouthpiece during the therapy. With the face mask, tightly but comfortably cover the mouth and nose. Make sure the narrow end of the mask is over the patient's nose. If using a mouthpiece, make sure that the patient maintains a tight seal on the mouthpiece during the therapy. If the patient has a tracheostomy tube or endotracheal tube, use the flexible tracheostomy adapter to connect one end to the circuit and the other end to the patient's tracheostomy tube or endotracheal tube during therapy. When therapy is not being delivered by the system, disconnect the flexible tracheostomy adapter from the tracheostomy tube or endotracheal tube to permit the patient to breathe freely through their tracheal tube. While therapy is available in both automatic and manual modes, always use the settings prescribed by the physician. Before starting any therapy, make sure you have connected the applicable patient circuit to the system and that the patient circuit is placed into position on the patient. Then, select the preferred therapy mode. When automatic is selected, the therapy preset last used on the control unit is automatically selected. To continue with this therapy, press Start, or follow these steps to select another preset. Swipe the Options tab left and press the Care Plan menu control. Select the preferred preset therapy plan. Review the therapy settings to make sure they match the prescription. Press Start and the therapy begins. You can pause a therapy session if needed, and then press Resume to continue a paused session. If a therapy is paused for more than three minutes, therapy stops and a warning message will show. If this occurs, follow the on-screen instructions. When the therapy is stopped or completed, the therapy summary shows, including the number of treatment sessions carried out with a connected patient circuit and the maximum number of treatment sessions remaining for use on this patient circuit. Circuits are intended for 30 days of treatment or a maximum of 90 treatment sessions. If you need to adjust cough-pause settings, which are only applicable in preset therapy plans, press Automatic. Before you start the therapy, swipe the Options tab left and select the Care Plan menu control. Select a preset therapy plan and press Options. Slide the cough-pause to On. To modify the interval and duration of the cough-pause therapy, press the setting. Press the keypad control and enter the required setting or use the plus or minus controls to adjust the setting. Press Save to save the changes, or press Cancel. When you have made all adjustments, press Therapy, and then press Start to begin therapy. When Manual is selected, the screen shows the therapy settings last used on the control unit. Use the plus or minus control to select the pressure settings or use the keypad control to enter the required setting. Press Enter to confirm the setting. The maximum pressure that can be set depends on the pressure ceiling limit defined in the clinical access settings. If required, press the CHFO frequency control and select the preferred frequency. If a nebulizer is used, press the nebulizer icon to enable therapy with a nebulizer. The nebulizer icon will light up. Press Start, but note that this does not start the therapy. It will start the air pump in the control unit. When the system is ready, the CPEP and or CHFO controls are lighted. When you are ready to start the therapy, press CPEP or CHFO. During the therapy, encourage the patient to exhale slowly over 3 or 4 seconds. Also, encourage the patient to gently cough up secretions as they mobilize into the upper airways. If needed, take extra care to appropriately suction secretions. When the therapy is complete, press Stop. 
The therapy summary will now show on the screen. When the therapy is stopped or complete, the therapy summary is shown, including the number of treatment sessions carried out with the connected patient circuit and the maximum number of treatment sessions remaining for use on this patient circuit. Circuits are intended for 30 days of treatment or a maximum of 90 treatment sessions. Press back to go back to the manual therapy screen. To go to the home menu, swipe the options tab left and press the home menu control. Please keep in mind that the system does not allow a CPEP or CHFO stage to last for more than 30 minutes. If the system is not used for more than 3 minutes, a warning message will show. The Valera system allows you to create, modify, rename, and delete a preset therapy. This is only available if clinical access is enabled. To create a new preset therapy plan, press Automatic and swipe the Options tab left and select the Care Plan menu control. Select an empty preset plan and press Create. Press Add Plus to add a new stage after the current stage or press Del Minus to delete the current stage. When a confirmation message shows, select Proceed to continue or press Cancel. The default pressure limits for each new stage are CPEP, 25 centimeters of water, CHFO, 50 centimeters of water or the limit set in clinical access, which can be programmed up to 70 centimeters of water, and NEB, 5 centimeters of water. Press the down arrow and select the preferred option. For CPEP, set the therapy pressure, therapy duration, and enable or disable the use of a nebulizer. For CHFO, set the therapy pressure, therapy duration, frequency of continuous high frequency pressure, and enable or disable the use of a nebulizer. For NEB, enable or disable the therapy with the use of a nebulizer and or adjust the duration of use with a nebulizer. Note that the nebulizer stage is for the delivery of nebulizer therapy only. Press the setting to adjust the pressure setting. Use the plus or minus control to select the pressure settings, or use the keypad control to enter the required setting. The maximum pressure that can be set depends on the pressure ceiling limit defined in the clinical access settings. Press Save to save the changes, or press Cancel. To confirm all settings, press Done. If Cough Pause is required in this therapy, press Options. Slide Cough Pause to On. Press the setting to adjust the interval and duration of the cough pause therapy. Press the keypad control and enter the required setting, or use the plus or minus control to adjust the setting. Press save to save the changes, or press cancel. If you would like to modify, rename, or delete a preset therapy, please refer back to the user manual. Be sure to clean the control unit and stand between therapy sessions, when visibly soiled or according to facility protocols. Power off the control unit and disconnect the control unit from the power source. Failure to disconnect the unit from its power source could cause injury or equipment damage. Disconnect the patient circuit from the control unit. Place the therapy port cap over the therapy port and disconnect any accessories attached to the control unit. Thoroughly wipe down the control unit and stand. It is recommended that the control unit and cart are cleaned with a soft cotton cleaning pad that is moistened with a compatible cleaner. Do not spray the cleaner directly onto the control unit. Do not use harsh cleansers, solvents, or detergents. Refer to the user manual for compatible cleaning solutions or compatible disinfectant wipes. Allow all parts to dry completely before reconnecting them for use. Thoroughly wipe down the parts with a clean cloth dampened in a compatible bacterial cleaning solution or compatible disinfectant wipes. Allow the parts to dry completely before you reconnect the parts for use. To help prevent cross-contamination, replace the circuit and the smart filter between patients. Discard the circuit and smart filter in accordance with facility protocol. Make sure that the circuit is not used on more than one patient. Do not attempt to sterilize the circuit for reuse. If a circuit is damaged or visibly soiled, replace it. 
Each patient circuit is for use by a single patient and intended for 30 days of treatment or a maximum of 90 treatment sessions. Be sure to always keep the smart filter dry and clean. To prevent injury or equipment damage, do not perform maintenance while the system is in use. Examine the inlet filter every month and clean it as necessary. Replace the inlet filter every 12 months. To clean the filter, power off the control unit, disconnect it from the power source, and remove the inlet filter from the back of the control unit. If the filter is damaged, replace it. Otherwise, wash the filter with warm, soapy water and rinse it with clean water. Allow the filter to dry completely and then install it into the back of the control unit. The Valera system is intended for the mobilization of secretions, lung expansion therapy, the treatment and prevention of pulmonary atelectasis, and has the ability to provide supplemental oxygen when used with oxygen supply. The system is designed for use by patients, caregivers, and healthcare providers.